Israel will make a prediction on the Israel crisis. I'm going to call it that because, yeah. As you can tell, Israel has started their ground invasion, and we know they're trying to encircle Gaza by the looks of it. Maybe they're not, but it looks like they are. And you can see they moved down the coast, and they moved across by the border with the area they wanted people to leave. And I guess they've made areas for them to get out. What's that? That looks like something. But yeah. And as you can tell, lots of fighting is happening here, and, and lots of things, like destroying Israeli vehicles or stuff, with fighting in, like, cities. And let's go to where Lebanon is. As we know, Hezbollah has been creating some crisis. As you can tell, military targets, bombs happening around the coast. And let's see what else is going on. Okay, Turkey isn't saying anything, neither is Iraq. Something to think about. But is anybody saying something? It looks like France is. As we know, the Houthis basically said no in Armada Israel, but yeah. And then we have the U.S. Wait, what's Japan saying? And as we can tell, a lot happens in this world from place to place. And there's not much we can do. Well, maybe there is, but it doesn't work so well. But yeah. And we can tell that must be, well, it looks like eight or something. And as we can see, and we can see lots is happening, as this is a great source to look at what's going on on the map. As we know, different issues are happening over to this issue, including Iran-backed militias being mean to Israel, I guess, or Israel being mean to them. Depends on what your views are, but yeah, we all have different views, so don't get mad at me for my view, but yeah. And we can see some bombs land in Israel, that's not good, and over here, this is also not good. It's a pretty big issue, and big problem is, is a lot of people are dying, which is pretty sad. To think this is happening, that this is capable of still happening, and yeah, they've been in the news all the time. And as we can tell, they attacked here and all over. And let's go to the map. Map, because as you can tell, this is not. But we'll use this to show what where support's coming from. Some of these countries will have been shown as support, but not. Every part of them do. I know a few that are backing them. I don't know all of them. So, like, keep in mind some of these might also be a guess. I'm guessing Belarus there. And Turkey, I can't tell, but I think they're more so pro Palestinian. But I don't think, like, not level. As you know, Iran's backed militias are doing stuff. Wouldn't say Turkey's pro Israel. I know countries I've heard of being pro them, including I'm um, France and Britain. And I'm guessing Ukraine. Not guessing, but I know what kind of. And then the rest of Europe? Not really sure, because that's like a lot of countries. And let's go to North America, where we know the U.S. and Canada are chilling. Why? Because I said so. But yeah, Americans an ocean away. Be like, yeah. Why am I showing Israel as red? Oh, I just made a mistake. I just made a mistake. I just realized. And you can also see what this is about. But I have the colors backwards. I just realized that because I know how this happened. Because I've remembered. I was like, wait, why did I put it as red? That was an accident. Because the person who attacks first is red, in my opinion. That might vary from point to point. But, as we can tell, this is significant. This is a significant mess up, to be honest. But let's go here and remember red and blue are mixed up in this situation. But I can fix it on the... Well, you can obviously guess how this is going. Obviously, Palestine is supporting them. Why not? Because it's part of Palestine. As you can see, this is where Gaza is, and I would say their first move will probably be, as I've noticed lately, they've been moving across the coast, right? As you can tell, and they've been moving in from the north slowly. 
kind of like this, moving by the coast there and more in. I would say something like this will happen. And eventually they'll cut the coast off just to fully encircle it. And hopefully the humanitarian corridors. Like let's say some over here. Wait a minute, why am I saying that Palestine would support this? I'm wrong. On one level, I just realized something, remembered something. Palestine, that's not Palestine fighting. Oops. Let's say that's an aid corridor and multiple others are set up like that so civilians can leave to avoid bloodshed. But those are hard to say if they will be established. And at this point I would say Israel probably sends troops in or not. They move down here and they move up here. But the problem with this is I would say this is taking months. Maybe even years. And their establishment of control would be making less and less of Gaza there. Keep in mind, this is also a very densely populated area of the Gaza Strip. And I would say like this. But keep in mind, that's probably months, maybe even a year into the future, where they successfully do this. This could be weeks, but I kind of doubt it. And as you can tell, they would be heading towards Gaza City. And you can tell that they're basically in there now at this point. They're heading in. They're in the neighborhoods and stuff. And I heard to think of that. But yeah. Depends where you live. Life is different. And as we can see, they'll probably start finishing off the city. But most modern seizures of cities have taken a long time, such as Bakhmut, Mariupol, and a few others. So as you know, they've been taking longer, but that could be because of different factors. And as you can tell, at this point, I would say Gaza City would fall. Would Lebanon get involved? Probably not, but could they? And why is Israel supporting Israel? I just realized something. I made a mistake. Why am I going to that map? And we can tell that they're supporting there. And could Lebanon, Hamas, possibly launch an incursion? Possibly, yes. But even if they did, let's say, they might move down the coast, maybe, if they did that. Move across the border, I would say. Moving across border attack. They did launch, but that's probably like as far as they could get. They might get further than you would think, because a lot of Israel's army is down in Gaza. And as you can tell, maybe they get to there. And then, as we know, Israel is pretty good at war. They would probably repel this up this way. Maybe move up towards the border in different areas, kind of like what they were doing when they were pushing the Hamas back. They would push Hezbollah back, and so on. They might establish a zone of control, maybe, like an occupation kind of zone. And they would invade kind of like this. This would definitely cause the Gaza operation to take longer. And let's say they continue in. They might decide to continue kind of like this. And I would say if they were to establish an occupation zone up there, it'd be like this. Kind of like how they occupy the Golan Heights. Because that's not a big piece of land, but it makes a deterrent. But even then, they would still be supporting the South. If they did enter, that would happen. But since we don't know what, if they would or not, which there is a high likelihood they would, but would they be able to succeed this much? And would Israel be able to succeed this much? Would it look good on Israel to invade, yeah, some nations, some nations? No, like the U.S. would see this as a good thing, probably, because Iran-backed militias are in that country, and they just beat them, and that's their ally. But yeah, and they would probably order an occupation of 
like a, I would say, Israel will order an evacuation of this area next. Or maybe even down to there. But I would say this would be what they would order an evacuation. And as you can tell, chances are if they ordered one here, their invasion would start after they start it. They would launch an invasion like they did if they continue the strategy. Like maybe go across here. Like kind of like this. And they would be launching an invasion along the coast. Slow and costly one, I guess. Be moving the troops towards the coast on this, like, border area. Eventually they would get it, and so on, I would say. I don't know. I know this is a populated area, so I'm guessing it would be, like, more of a another siege. And maybe this would be the end of Israel's brutal war. Calling it brutal because there's nothing good about it. And as you can tell, they would make another encirclement. Maybe at this point, feeling desperate for a win, let's say, they might launch their, a second attack. Maybe this would be where Hezbollah would enter if they were going to. They did secure a big chunk of Israel at one point. With... Israel now having to focus on that, they might get pushed back, which I would say they would during this attempt. But would it be far enough to make that siege of that area that I have colored in green still? Which, honestly, if this did take place, I think Israel is going to win, but they might not. But I would say they will due to Western support. Like they always get. And now this would probably be where the last of the people are evacuating into Egypt. Unless Egypt would already have it closed, knowing that this would happen and could cause a refugee crisis, and so on. So on. With Israel seeing what they just did, I would say Israel would launch a force into the border zone. You know why? Because if they managed to make an attack, they would want to secure their border. And by putting troops there, that's a good idea. We'll help secure it. And so on, this area would fall. An evacuation would be put on the rest of Gaza, which probably wouldn't go well. But yeah. And they would continue down the coast. Like this. Maybe across Egypt here. Maybe avoid there. Because, yeah. Move around here. Hopefully they would set up a... Uh, border crossing for what's going on with all the people that will need to flee. Hopefully people will be able to flee. Civilians are the ones that are going to feel this the worst, honestly, which is sad to think about, honestly. Imagine waking up to this happening. And Israel, would, in this scenario, came out on top. Is there another scenario where they might not? Yes. Is there a bunch of scenarios like this? Yes. Would Lebanon, would Hezbollah invade? Well, they said, Hezbollah said, if Israel invades Gaza, I think, I'm not sure. Don't hold that. And go back to that. But I think they said they would invade if Israel entered into Gaza, which they didn't do. And as you can see, this would probably become a permanent occupation up there if they did invade, but if they didn't, it wouldn't, if that makes sense. Israel would probably do stuff that shouldn't, maybe. As this is what Israel would look like at this time. Of course, not all of that is occupied and such on, but there's a lot of occupation by Israel, and that's, that's just a sneeze break. So yeah, now we're back. And... As you can tell, this wouldn't be good. Would it strain their international relations? Probably with, like, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, you know, it's nearby neighbors. Well, then again, Saudi Arabia technically doesn't have relations with Israel. But Jordan and Egypt does have official. And that's pretty much all for today's video. Say what you think would happen. What do you think will happen? Say your idea. Say what you believe.
And that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper out. Bye, guys.